That was a very good ball for Ireland to win. McGuinness, Humphreys, and they're running it. McQuinnigan goes. Big, powerful fella. Marvellous kick ahead by him. And there's going to be an Irish try here if they can control the ball. And it is a score. Moves the ball to McQuinnigan. This is what makes tries an international of the pace. Able to go outside Scotland. Puts an intelligent kick in. And it's just a matter of backs against forwards. And David Humphreys, well, we all know all about his pace from Ulster's success in the European Cup, and he wins the touchdown. Roche waits. He's looking for a scissors, and he got it. O'Quinnigan. He's a great run badging fellow. Look at him out in the open. What a marvellous run that was. This flank forward is certainly writing his name over the game. Yeah, he really is making his mark on this game. Conor O'Shea again looking to counter attack couple of dummy switches eventually gives it a look at this to, to break the tackle strokes off Alan Tate and that's no mean feat big high knee lift showing a seven style what pace that was Martin Leslie Armstrong comes in comes in this through now where's the support coming for him it's taken on there by Alan Tate Alan Tate back inside the interception by Gervin Dempsey and that was a magnificent Scottish breakout but on the wrong side, penalty to Ireland. But if we can see this wonderful break by Gregor Townsend, he basically takes on his man. Humphreys takes a dummy, Ward misses him. Now he pops that pass, but who's who's going to catch him? Who do you think so far? Forward of the match in my book, Dean O'Quinnigan. What pace. And Dean O'Quinnigan looks like one with four legs as well. He's been inspired. I don't know what games, psychological games, Warren Gatlin's been playing through the week. He's been open in his uh, in his criticism, if you like, of some of his players. But it certainly seems to inspire Dean O'Quinnigan because he's been outstanding in both attack and defence.